So why are we addicted to social media? The reason being is because we need to feel a connection to people. Whether that be in person or online, social media does bring us a connection to people. Research studies have shown that activity in the dorsal media prefrontal cortex, the brain region that is responsible for seeing our world through a social lens, responds to viewing social media pictures and descriptions of what people are experiencing. So therefore we all need to feel connection and social media connects us. Even for me, I find when I'm just playing a solitary game on my phone, I feel a sense of loneliness. When I'm not connected to the internet and interacting with others, I just feel like it doesn't do the trick. However, when I do check up on Facebook, I feel connected for some reason, and I always just wanted to know why. And like many others, I find myself just mindlessly scrolling through Facebook. I'm even doing it now while I film this video. And I feel happy when I do it for some strange reason. And for me, it's like I experience a rush from it. I feel good. And when I'm away from it, I feel a little bit of a withdrawal. And that's why I'm on it all the time. And I, I do have to stop eventually. And I also find myself, uh, when I kind of step away from my phone, I feel a little drained and depressed from being on it for so long. Maybe that's from putting my head down, or maybe it's because it's not the same as interacting with people in person. But can it really mean that we are addicted to social media? So if you find yourself aimlessly looking through Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, it might be your brain's need to connect to others. We are social beings and we do need to be around each other. And even if we're doing it on the internet, our brain is still connecting. Is too much social media use bad? Of course, if you let it out of your control, it is. It leads to distraction and it's just a pure waste of time. And of course, you're going to procrastinate more if you're using too much social media. Brain imaging studies show that people who are addicted to the internet have similar brain abnormalities to people who have substance abuse problems. That's pretty intense. So with that, it also coexists with anxiety and depression. So yeah, perhaps it is a little bad if you are severely addicted, that is. But most of us are probably not that addicted. So there's probably ways of kind of controlling your impulses to check Facebook or Instagram or anything else all the time. What about quitting cold turkey? I certainly don't believe in it, but for some people it works. Another thing is adopt the mindset that moderation is key. Allow yourself to control your impulses and only check a few times a day. Because yeah, for most people quitting cold turkey doesn't work, but if you only do it a few times a day, then it's okay. And also have a purpose for checking. Instead of just checking in because you're bored, check in because you wanna see someone's photos from last weekend. And lastly, alter your settings. Disable those notifications that you don't need to see and that will just reel you into checking in on Facebook. Facebook. Only have the notifications that are important, like an event or even someone's birthday if you need to remember. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I wanted to do this video because I think that I am a little bit addicted to Facebook and I waste so much time on it. So if you have any comments or tips on how to control your impulses of checking in on social media, please feel free to comment and thank you so much for watching.